Powerhouse, presented by Alliant Energy. Alliant Energy, we're on for you. Welcome back to Powerhouse. You know, one of the most important systems in your home could be wasting energy and wasting your money. I'm talking, of course, about the duct work here. And joining us today is Rob Novak from Novak Heating and Cooling. Rob, what kind of difference can I expect to see as a homeowner if I were to have my ductwork cleaned? Regular cleaning will improve the air quality and also increase the efficiency of your heating and cooling equipment. Dryer vent cleaning can also lower your energy bills. Well, let's talk about energy bills. What kind of savings could I expect to see or, or can we... Uh, between 2 and 5%, depending on how dirty the duct uh, coils and blower are. How often should I have it done? On average, between five and seven years. If you have allergies or pets, sometimes that can be more often. All right. Well, okay, I'm a homeowner. How do I know that this process needs to be done in my house? What are the clues? Uh, you can look uh, in the blower cavity for dirt, dust, and mold. Um, also, pulling off uh, return air registers is a really good place to look. Well, I don't know anything about it. So let's start from the beginning. Tell us what's involved in the process. First thing we do is we hook up our vacuum truck to the duct system. And we do the supply and the return separately so we don't pull any debris through the furnace or the air conditioning coils. Uh, then we go around to each register and put some newspaper up to block it off. Uh, the vacuum will actually suck, suck it up to the ceiling if it's on the ceiling. And uh, we remove those one by one to create a vacuum on just the one individual pipe. So you can isolate each That's return, right. is that the idea? Mm -hmm. And uh, then we blow back about 200 pounds of compressed air towards the vacuum from each register. And once that process is done, we come back down in the basement and we use what's called a skipper ball. And this hooks up to a couple hundred pounds of compressed air, has some little holes on the back side, so it actually pulls itself through the duct. So you don't have to fish it through? Uh, a little bit but it bounces its way through and you can pull back any dirt uh, or anything that's left in there. Like a final cleaning. That's right. This is a pretty extensive process. How long does it take? Uh, it takes between two and three hours, usually. Okay, and let's talk about the cost. What's the investment? 230 to $500, depending on how many registers you have. Well, that's pretty manageable, isn't it? Yeah, that's not too bad. Yeah, let's, um, let's say that I have this process done. The work is all done. How, I don't know anything about it. How do I know if the workers have done a good job? Yeah, I'd look for a good clean job site. Uh, also, you can look in the blower compartment for dirt and debris. Okay, just to make sure everything's still tidy. And... Yeah. Great. Now, what should I do after I have this done before the next time I need to have it done? How do I maintain it? How do I keep my ductwork clean? The best thing you can do is to change your filter regularly. Uh, for most people that have a one inch filter, they need to be replaced monthly. Every time you get your gas bill, it'd be a good yeah. reminder. Yeah, you know, it's a little thing. We talk about it all the time. It seems so simple. People just need to follow through with that. Yeah. Thanks for this great advice on how to keep our home clean and healthy. Thank you.